Here we run to find the integral of 1 divided by x to the 4th times the square root of x squared minus 5. And so this integral has the expression of square root of x squared. Think of this as a squared. x squared minus a squared. So since we have the square root of x squared minus x a squared, we will use the suggestion of letting x equal to a secant of theta. So first, let a squared be 5, or a is the square root of 5. And then let x be a secant of theta, or the square root of 5 times secant of theta. The derivative of x with respect to theta, derivative of secant of theta is secant of theta times tangent of theta. dx will be the square root of 5 times secant of theta times tangent of theta times d theta. And now let's write the expression the square root of x squared minus 5 in terms of theta. x squared will be the square root of 5 times secant of theta squared. And this is equal to 5 times secant of theta squared. Common factor is 5, so we have 5 times secant square of theta minus 1. From trigonometry identities, secant square of theta minus 1 is tangent square of theta. And this is equal to the square root of 5 times tangent of theta. And the integral of 1 over x to the 4th times the square root of x over minus 5 is equal to 1 over x is the square root of 5 times secant of theta and then to the fourth. The expression square root of x1 minus 5 is the square root of 5 times tangent of theta. dx is this, and so we have the square root of 5 times secant of theta times tangent of theta times d theta. Here we have the square root of 5. This is the square root of 5 to the 4th. The square root of 5 divided by the square root of 5 is 1. The square root of 5 divided by the square root of 5 is 1. And then here we have the square root of 5 to the 4th. Tangent of theta dividing by tangent of theta is 1. Secant dividing by secant to the 4th is a secant to the 3rd. 1 over the square root of 5 to the 4th is 1 over 25. 1 over secant to the third is cosine to the third. Rewrite cosine to the third is cosine squared times cosine. From trigonometry identities, Cosine square of theta is 1 minus sine of sine square of theta. 
And the reason we do this because uh, if we let u be sine of theta, then the derivative of u will be cosine theta d theta. So now let's find this integral right here. So let u be sine of theta du d theta would be cosine of theta. du would be cosine of theta d theta. The integral 1 minus sine squared cosine of theta d theta is equal to 1 minus u squared since u is sine of theta and then cosine of theta d theta is just du. Antiderivative of 1 is u. Antiderivative of u squared is u to the third divided by 3. u is sine of theta, so we have sine of theta minus sine of theta to the third dividing by 3. The original integral is equal to 1 over 25 times this integral. So we get 1 over 25 times sine of theta minus sine of theta to the third dividing by 3. The original problem was in terms of x, so we need to write sine of theta in terms of x. Earlier we have x equal to the square root of 5 times secant of theta. Dividing both sides by the square root of 5, we have secant of theta is equal to x over the square root of 5. By definition of secant of theta of secant, then we have secant of theta is equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent side. This is the angle of theta, this is the opposite side, this is the adjacent side, and this is the hypotenuse. In this example, the hypotenuse is x, the adjacent side is the square root of 5. We need the opposite side. This is a right triangle, so we have opposite side square plus adjacent side square is equal to the hypotenuse squared. The hypotenuse is x. The adjacent side is the square root of 5. We're looking for the opposite side. Square root of 5 squared is 5, square root of 5 squared is 5, and then subtract 5 from both sides, we get opposite side square is equal to x squared minus 5, and then take the square root of both sides, and we get the opposite side to be the square root of x squared minus 5. Sine of theta by definition is the opposite side dividing by the hypotenuse. Opposite side is the square root of x1 minus 5. The hypotenuse is x. Earlier we have this result right here and so now in the place of sine of theta we will put the square root of x1 minus 5 dividing by x. Sine of theta is the square root of x1 minus 5 dividing by x. Sine of theta is square root of x1 minus 5 dividing by x. And then we have 1 over 25 outside. 1 over 25 times this expression 
will be the square root of box one minus five over 25 bucks. And then 25 here times three is 75. And so we get one over 75 times this expression. And this is the answer.